Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the wait is officially over. Cocaine Bear, that's right, I said Cocaine Bear, I know. I know you've been waiting, is finally in theaters. It is. We have been waiting for that, aren't we? But should you get in line or just skip the trip, here's our very own Sean Hobbs from the director's chair. Hey, look out. Cocaine Bear is new in theaters. Here's the best part, inspired by a true story. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. A bear did cocaine. Yep, bags of cocaine have fallen out of an airplane, a big bear eats them, and then goes on a killer coke-fueled rampage. Carrie Russell and the late great Ray Liotta among the eclectic human cast. Now, the bear in real life didn't kill or eat anybody, but that's boring. So the movie, directed by actress Elizabeth Banks, plays it for gory, silly laughs. And it is fun, sometimes, just not as much as hoped. Okay. I think these kids need help. What they need is a bath. You're passing judgment on people you know nothing about. Then also based on a true story, but with no bears in it, is Jesus Revolution. Kelsey Grammer as a square 60s pastor who decides to embrace a hippie preacher and his young followers, kicking off a hippie spiritual movement. Also with Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus on The Chosen. Then to select screens comes Emily, rising star Emma Mackey, as Wuthering Heights author Emily Bronte. I need to stop this man. I'm still a copper. And only to Harker Heights, a few weeks before it hits Netflix, Luther, The Fallen Son. Yeah, Idris Elba back hunting a killer for a sequel movie to his hit cop series, Luther. The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. Okay, then M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin, starring Dave Bautista already at home on premium VOD straight from theaters. As are some big Oscar nominees, Women Talking with Rooney Mara and Francis McDormand, and The Whale, starring Brendan Fraser as a 600-pound shut-in. You need to get out of this place, away from your daddy. Then Sean Penn's son, Hopper Penn, stars with his mom, Robin Wright, in Devil's Peak, looking to escape his meth kingpin daddy, Billy Bob Thornton. That's new on demand, as is Ambush, with Aaron Eckhart and Jonathan Reese myers as commandos in Vietnam. And the Oscar-nominated EO, a Polish film that follows the odyssey of one circus donkey. Crazy. It's insane, right? You have on to streaming, where killer girl robot hit Megan dances straight from theaters to Peacock, unrated. Peacock also starts a new season of Bel Air, their serious Fresh Prince reboot. While Paramount Plus adds Babylon, the wild epic set in early Hollywood with Margot Robbie and Brad Pitt. And Hulu has Bruiser, a new coming of age movie about a bullied teen who finds an unexpected mentor. With Tills, Jalen Hall, and Moonlight's Trevante Rhodes. I'm in the Arctic Circle and the big question for me is, why? Next, Eugene Levy travels the world in the reality show The Reluctant Traveler, new on Apple TV+. Plus. We also have Liaison, a new spy series with Eva Green and Vincent Cassell. My purpose is to improve the business. <laughs> then an ominous Christoph Waltz is hired to save a gaming company in Amazon's new series, The Consultant. It's a party down reunion. Um, and just yes. what everyone's dying for. <laughs> After a 10-year break, Stars revives the catering comedy Party Down for a new season with Adam Scott and Jane Lynch. And then finally, Netflix not only has a new season of their teen hit Outer Banks and a Murdaw Murders docuseries, but also the new movie We Have a Ghost. Can you talk? What happened to you? It's a supernatural comedy with David Harbour as a ghost who haunts Anthony Mackie and family. It also features Jennifer Coolidge. And that's a look at what's new from the director's chair.